Okay, so we, right now we have the Roar Brewers Cup champion Martin Wolfel in his studio in Vienna. And what are we gonna do? We brewed together my winning recipe for the World Brewers Cup Championship I used in Chicago this year. And I think let's brew some delicious coffee today and let's get into it. <laughs> First of all, I'm preparing the paper filter. So this is the paper filter from Seabarist and it's a fast paper filter. So it gives you a lot of opportunities to grind even finer than you normally would use to. And so you can extract more without any bitterness. It also gives you some coating, really nice texture and creamy mouthfeel. You need to fold it first. And if you have done it twice, you will see you will be faster as well. When you're ready with folding, you just put it straight in the Aurea V4. This is the tripper I used on the stage. It's a new Aurea version where you can adjust the bottoms. So this tripper comes with four different bottoms and you can just brew the same recipe with different kind of bottoms. The bottom I'm using is the fast bottom. So I was looking for a lot of sweetness, fast extraction, a really nice body and a coating texture and mouthfeel. So, you can also use the negotiator to make sure that the paper filter sits perfectly in the tripper. I'm rinsing the paper filter and preheat my brewing device and my server. I'm doing that so that the coffee gets a good balance. And I found out with my kind of recipe that the acidity is well structured. I use the negotiator as well to make sure that the paper filter sits perfectly at the wall so there will be a zero bypass. So it will look like that. Now we are ready for the coffee. I'm using 17 grams of coffee to general 270 milliliter. The water is already at 93 degrees. The coffee I'm brewing right now is a geisha from Panama from the farm Don Benji and it's also processed from Lost Origin. So it's not the same coffee I used on the world stage, but it's similar. It's the same kind of process, but a different farm, but from the same region in Boquete, in Panama. And now we're grinding coffee with the same grinder I used on the stage. It's the Mazza ZM, and I'm using right now 490 microns for this kind of coffee. Before brewing, make sure that you put away the water you use for rinsing the paper filter. Now I will put the 17 grams coffee in the dripper and make it even. Before brewing, I'm using a needling tool. So this tool will open up the top of the coffee so that the water and the coffee get settled even faster. And this will lead to more sweetness, more clarity and more transparency. You can give it a try at home as well and you will find out that the bloom is also faster. On top, I'm using the Melo Drip. This is kind of a showering tool, so you will have a lot of droplets. We produced a holder and you can just click it on the top of the coffee. With the Melo Drip, you will have less rotations and less turbulences inside the bed so that the coffee will taste sweeter and more transparent and cleaner and you will have a better transition from the flavors. Now we are ready to brew. My recipe has in general four steps. First of all, my blooming for 40 seconds will be with 60 milliliters. So I give the coffee a lot of time that it gets saturated with the water. After 40 seconds, I will top it up to 120 milliliters. I was aiming for a fast extraction, but I want to have a lot of sweetness, transparency, and I was looking for a really clean kind of coffee. The third step is at one minute and 20, and I will top it up right now to 170 milliliters. I'm always waiting till the coffee is through. And after two minutes, I will do my last step 
from 170 to 270 milliliters. The total extraction time for my recipe is around 2 minutes 20 to 2 minutes 25 seconds. So now we are ready. Before Martin tastes the brew and shares some tips and tricks for making it at home, let's give a shout out to the sponsor of this video. Standard is our favorite print coffee magazine and these are our last four issues we received in the studio. Each issue features stories that could otherwise get lost online. Now, they are beautifully designed, printed and distributed to the coffee lovers around the world. What's cool is that each issue comes with a free sample of tasty specialty coffee. Now, if you are still in doubt whether to grab a yearly subscription or not, we work with Standard to make it an easier decision. Go to standardmagcom ECT and grab a free issue of selected Standard and just cover the shipping. Then, you can decide whether to keep the subscription or cancel it. It's up to you. And now this is already my favorite part. Before we access the aroma, swirl the carafe because you will find the first impressions of the coffee which has brewed. So the coffee smells already like orange zest, apricots and a lot of rosehip as well. For example, if you want to have more intensity of the flavors, you can increase the temperature from 93, for example, to 95 degrees. If you want to have less flavors, you can drop the temperature a bit, but this also depends on the roast profile. If you don't have all the tools I just used for the stage or just used right now, don't worry about that. You can brew exactly the same recipe for any kind of dripper you're using at home. This recipe works perfectly also for wash kind of coffees, anaerobic naturals or natural kind of coffees. So just play around choose the temperature, have fun at home, and I will start to drink the coffee right now. So I'm using the two-way cups, exactly the same cup I also used on stage, and you can experience the coffee from two sides. From the white side, the coffee tastes more floral, more acidity, and you will find more the characteristic of the geisha variety. If you make a turnaround, you will also see the color, and the coffee tastes more sweeter, more body, and it's more creamy. So you can also play around and have fun. So right now, you will find the orange zest and also the apricots, and it's a bit more tea-like. And here, you will get some plums, you get some red fruits, a bit more papaya and tropicals. I'm a big fan to wait and see how the coffee will change from the temperature. So let it cool down a bit and my favorite temperature is in between from hot to warm. So thanks for showing us. Uh, can I taste as well? Definitely. Go ahead. Perfect. Wow. It's amazing. So I can't wait to try this recipe in our studio and I hope that you will try too. Thank you so much for showing us. You're welcome. Let us know if you have any questions and we will do together with Martin our best to answer it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.